Good morning. Join me at 11 o'clock for Thursday's edition of Chatty Brunch. Coming up on today's show, Ollie Murs is my co-star. James Tanner will be in the kitchen cooking something deliciously vegetarian. I'll be talking fashion with Belinda White, who will be telling me what's hot and what's not on the high street at the moment. And not only will they be performing live, I'll be speaking to One Direction. See you then. After much anticipation, the new royal baby has arrived. That's right, on the 22nd of July 2013, Prince William and Kate welcomed a very healthy, eight pound six ounce baby boy to the world, Prince George Alexander Louis. Suffice to say, excitement and media attention has been massive all across the globe. And today we're in Windsor to see how the crowds here are feeling about the arrival of the future King of England. You don't have to be a meteorologist to know, it's been a cold, wet, windy, and quite frankly, miserable spring this year in the UK. In fact, it's one of the five worst in the last 110 years. So I think now it's time to go and explore some of the warmer countries of Europe. Keeping up with monthly bills is never easy. The cost of living is always increasing, but wages aren't. And often it feels like the rich are getting richer and the poor, even the working class, are getting poorer. So is there any wonder why the payday loan industry is growing so rapidly? and as is the profitability of these money-lending companies. All of the TV adverts suggest that they're doing you some big and generous favour, but are they simply opening up the doors of debt to the susceptible? We're going undercover to investigate how easy it is to get one of these loans, what happens when you can't afford the repayments, to find out how intense the debt collecting process is, and I want to know how much or little protection there is over these vulnerable borrowers. At last, the sun has got its hat on in the southeast of England and pretty much everywhere else in the UK as well, so I'm sure you won't have to walk too far before catching scent of a barbecue. It's anticipated that this weekend, beaches and parks will be very busy with everybody trying to lap up the rays. So join us tomorrow where we'll be heading down to Brighton to check out the sea. It's the peak of British summertime and in the music world that only means one thing, it's festival season. And rather than wading our way through the crowds at Reading, Leeds or V Festival, we've come to check out the atmosphere at a slightly different gig. It's being held in these beautiful grounds in Buckinghamshire. The event is called Cliveden Rocks and tonight we've got tribute acts for Queen and Madness. It's set to be a fun one, so let's go mingle. I'm here in New York standing outside the venue where later on this evening the MTV Video Music Awards after party is going to take place. We'll be inside speaking to the winners, the losers, and everybody in between. So meet me back here tomorrow, 9 p.m., for all the gossip. How would you like to get your hands on 70,000 pounds? And just think what you could do with that amount of money. Splash it on a new car, treat yourself to a very long luxury holiday, or simply relax and not have to worry about paying the bills. Well, you could be doing all of that by entering this week's cash competition. But before I tell you how, let's hear from one of our previous winners, Mark Dupuy from London. I won £30,000 and this brand new car. I thought it was my girlfriend playing a prank on me because I never win anything. It's changed my life. Well, for now, anyway. So for your chance to be the lucky one this week, all you have to do is answer the following question correctly. In which country is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Is it A, France, B, Spain or C, Italy? Give us a call on 0845 112233. Alternatively, text us your answer, A, B or C, to 61122. Calls will cost you no more than 75p from a BT landline and text messages will set you back £1 plus your standard network rate. Good luck. <laughs> 